Emma Chamberlain and what camera she uses and how she edits. A queen. Oh wait, I already am that at Coachella. That's a joke. Alright, before we start, I'm just gonna say that I'm not sponsored nor affiliated for any of these items. It's all gonna be in the description below. And make sure to subscribe because this will be a series. I'm gonna be doing David Dobrik next. I'm gonna be doing Casey Neistat and a bunch of other famous YouTubers out there that don't really clarify which camera they use. So I'm gonna be using in-video evidence of which camera they're using and gonna be telling you guys what they do and how they edit their videos and just, and just stuff like that. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notification, and let's start this video. So I'm gonna be digging on these two subjects right now, but the main topic will be which camera she uses. I'm gonna keep this really quick and simple. So the camera she uses is the basic Canon M50 with the kit lens on there. Yes, this camera can shoot 4K, but I really don't think she's shooting 4k i think she's just putting it on automatic settings and letting the camera go to work and doing whatever it is most of her magic is really on the editing skills which i will further talk more about later in this video and what else she's using is also this tripod and the mic she uses is the rode video micro this one is a very popular mic that a bunch of YouTubers use as well. And it's really good because it comes with a dead cat. And that dead cat allows you to have better audio when you're outside and it eliminates the wind interrupting sound, your audio. So that is pretty much it of her camera gear. I tried looking what else she had. She might have a, another tripod, but really this is the only thing she uses. And it's pretty much the main key of her YouTube, the main foundation of her of her YouTube. All right, so I'm almost guaranteed that Emma Chamberlain edits on a Mac. I'm not sure which Mac, probably a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, but considering the money she has, most likely a MacBook Pro. And um, the reason why I know it's a Mac is because of the fonts and the effects she is using. Most of these effects are only available in either iMovie or Final Cut Pro. And a lot of her basic editing is really, really easy. You can honestly do this type of editings, editings with your phone, but the volume and the amount of video she produces every single day, you do have to, you do need a fast computer. and. I'm pretty sure she edits either an iMovie or Final Cut Pro. Um, there are some really nice editing skills where she does, and I'm pretty sure she might have started learning with iMovie and then she upgraded it, upgraded it <laughs> with Final Cut Pro. And another evidence is that a lot of the music she uses are music that came from iMovie, the free stock music, so she won't get copyrighted and it makes sense because her videos are are booming and she can't afford to get a copyrighted video so yeah that's pretty much it guys that's all um if you guys like this video make sure to comment what you guys liked about this video and what more do you want in this video maybe you guys want me to explain more or maybe talk less i'm really curious what you guys are gonna think and yeah that's pretty much it i just wanted to keep this video as short as possible because i didn't want to keep anything too long and yeah, that's Emma Shabnalates. If you guys want a tutorial, let me know. I'll be able to do a tutorial because I do edit on Mac. I am currently editing on the Final Cut Pro. And um, yeah, a lot of her edits are very simple and I'd love to teach it to a lot of people who are interested. So yeah, comment below if anything. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.